Hey, hey, hey everyone. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So, today I thought we would do something just a little bit different. Um, I wanted to show you guys my sketchbooks. So, um, I have Mr. Lucario sitting here for right now, just so the camera won't do anything weird. My camera, um does weird stuff sometimes now for whatever reason so um i have a couple sketchbooks none of my sketchbooks are finished um but i have a couple that i kind of bounce around and then i have like a main sketchbook like my main sketchbook um and even that i don't draw in like every day like i should be so let's get started i'm gonna move lucario and if you don't know, Lucario is a Pokemon. So, <clears throat> the first sketchbook I have is this little small one. This is the Arteza. I have a blank one here. This is the Arteza Cold Press watercolor paper. Um, you get 88 pages. They're double-sided, 110 pound. Um, Five and a half by five and a half, so kind of a small sketchbook. <clears throat> so, originally, or not originally, um, what for this one, I was doing my, um, just like kind of learning how to watercolor, I guess. Uh, so it was just kind of a it's just kind of like a you know draw something and color it type of book um this was my intro page here so i did draw that and i did watercolor it myself and at first i was just kind of messing around i was some i don't i honestly i need to start writing what i use because i don't even know what watercolors these were i was using but i was trying to kind of practice distance in colors and what made sense together and things like that uh here i was doing grass um and i was trying to do these on my own without like any learning um guides or anything like that so they're kind of funny looking i did like this tree though and the grass didn't turn out too bad there were some spots that were kind of questionable but um yeah so then i started doing inktober and i was drawing them and i was like yeah i'll come back and watercolor them later which i will still and i think this is as far as i got and i had got either really busy or just decided to not do it but i will probably do inktober again this year um, if that's something you guys want to see me do, let me know. And then in the back here, just some swatches. Um, this is my main palette, the one that you guys have seen in my um, mouse guard video this week. Or last week, I mean. Well, you'll see it this weekend too, but this is the main my main palette. And it just has like a bunch of like um, different colors. This was like a mix of the Prima Marketing um, watercolors. And it's just some neutral, natural colors. I keep saying neutral. And these are the, um, it says metallic. I mean, they're kind of metallic, but they're more of like a sparkly metallic. And then back here, I keep all of my swatches. So that's that book that I need to start back working in. And then I have this book here. And I got this sketchbook, I think, from the 99 cent store, like, years ago. It's nowhere near finished. I have so many blank pages. But this one I use for, let me zoom you out a little bit. This one I use for, um... Just kind of random whatever sketches because it's the paper, you know, it's from the 99 cent store. So, but here are some sketches. And usually when I draw, um, I, I usually draw characters and I'm working on 
a character um, for kind of like a um, story, I guess. And just different prototypes of this guy. He's changed so many times. His name has changed a million times. Um, the story has changed a million times. So this was me attempting to draw a scene. My style has also changed. Um, I think I was practicing poses here. Practice, practicing, practicing. Look, the time change between the time change and work this week. My words are not. They're coming out of my mouth faster than I can process them. Anyway, I was practicing poses here, and I was like trying to do a close up detail of his little staff here and just some more different characters and I was trying to figure out uh she was she's well she is his best friend from school and I don't know it was something about her hair that I liked so I kept drawing it over and over again in like different colors I haven't drawn her in a while though I need to draw her some more and these was just some different weapons and things like that they were supposed to be like in a martial arts school i have like the whole story thing and it it keeps changing but yeah so this is like i was drawing her some more and i usually draw like on a pretty small scale um very rarely do i draw like oops skip the page like giant pictures which i need to try and practice that but this was like years ago and I'm looking back at these and I'm like wow oh, excuse me I'm like wow my style has changed and I remember liking him so much look at that smile and he was supposed to be like the tough kid but he wasn't really tough he was a big scaredy cat and but everybody thought he was tough because he had different hair and just the way he was but he was he was really a big softie and I like adding characters, stories to my characters when I draw them. This was just some random little thing I drew. It was kind of funny. Like this little guy's up here in the ice cream and he's down here and he's waiting for it to fall so he can get some. I had fun with that. I think that's when I first got my, um, right around when I first got my polys, I think. And I would like, sometimes I would take this um, book to work and I would try and draw on the bus. Drawing in a moving car is hard. <laughs> and this is just some kids in the classroom and he was like the loud one and they were just kind of laughing at him because he was so loud. I'm not really sure what's going on on this page. I think I was just drawing random stuff. And it's, you know, my sketchbooks, they're a little all over the place. They're, you know, no rhyme or reason to them. There's not much going on there. And then I was doing like a little swatch here to see what worked in this book. And let me tell you, those don't watercolor pencils. I didn't like them, period, at all. So when I tried to do them in here, it was even worse. And those things were just not me. Um, nothing on this page but a swatch. Um, I was doing some scenes here. I know they're a little bit hard to see because I usually just do in pencil or black and white. This was me trying to draw poses and things like that. Different poses because usually when I draw, my characters are just standing there. So it was nice to do some poses. These are my Copics, I think. Are the Caliart markers? A little bit of both. <laughs> Not sure why I had that going on. Um, this was another, a whole different story I was working on. And I was like drawing like little utility belts and things like that. This was like, um, there, this was going to be like their little device they had to carry around. And I thought that was kind of cool. Just 
Okay, and so I was just drawing like the different, um, this book is huge, I think it folds, yeah, okay, I was drawing like the different uniforms and the different styles. This is a whole different story from the one in the beginning of the book. And this was him, I was trying to see what it would look like if he was like trying to swim. I don't think I nailed that pose, but... It still turned out kind of cool looking. This was just some story notes. Which I also kind of randomly threw in this book too. And here I was trying to draw the character for that story. And then I was trying to see what it would, his hair would look like underneath the hat. So I was like drawing different characters. This one was kind of a derpy looking one. I don't know what was up with that one. Um... Just a lot of random uh, pictures that was like hit or miss, like this one. It was like, how how fast can I draw something in like a minute? Yeah. <laughs> and, oh, and this one I was doing like different face poses, like directions. I thought this one turned out pretty good. He was looking up. Or she, I'm not sure what it was supposed to be. This was some more faces and just different things. I was trying to figure out my own art style. I'm looking a little crazy. Um, this was some art quest thing I had downloaded but never filled out. Just a bunch of just different things. And I think that's the end for this sketchbook. Yeah, I and mean, then it's just a bunch of blank faces. So you can see I didn't get very far, but Sometimes I will pull this one out just to get my ideas on some paper. And for the next sketchbook, this is the Elio sketchbook. Or is it Elio or El Elo? Elo. This one. I do have a second one. I had bought a two pack. This is an eight by eight. This is a square version. And let me put that back. Let me just go ahead and open this. This is the one I was using before the one I'm using now. Um, something about this one that, I mean, it's okay. I think the paper is a little bit too smooth for me. So I started this one in 2019. Uh, the paper is like really smooth and it's really bright. So I don't know. I don't know. Something about it just, maybe I just need to get back into it. But here, if you can see, I was, let me turn this down. I was practicing like poses. It's really light because it's, you know, it's in pencil and it's been a while. And I was just practicing different things. Some more poses that you can barely see. I'm sorry. This one, this one's like really bright. And then I was trying out the supplies that I used the most right there. And then there's one in color. That's rare. I think that was in gouache, actually. Just some thumbnails here on the side and just different things I was doing. And I think I used watercolors on this one. I think I was too lazy to finish this guy because I only finished his head. <laughs> I thought this one was cute. I drew someone in like a winter coat with the earmuffs and the in the beanie, but I didn't finish it. <laughs> Most of these are just randomly unfinished. But there's some more colored ones. I thought this one was so cute. I want to make this one bigger just so I can color it again. I thought it was pretty cute. So this is like, honestly, I think I was drawing like every other day. I wanted to draw like at least something. And it's just usually just random different characters that I come up with. Or poses like this. And just different things may or may not turn out right. But I draw them anyway. Like this one, I put the little LOL. Nope. Because that did not come out the way I wanted it to. 
but it was something about the sketchbook I wasn't liking at the time, so I didn't um, do much in here. There's another one of my characters. And this is when I was kind of venturing into this guy. He's actually uh, my my main character now, so you might you're gonna see a lot of him because I'm trying to develop him a little bit or a lot of bit because I'm making a story. So then I was like, I did a little watercolor person and then I made a giant version of it. So like this would be him if he was really tiny and this would be him if he was really big. And I also tried him with really long ears. And this was me um, kind of um, I haven't filled it in yet, but this was like, I was going to write with the characters, you know, their background and bio. And then this was like a little, just kind of a little, um, little event that was happening in, in the story. So I did like the little thumbnails, except for this. I don't know. I think this was just me randomly putting her in the kitchen, making some stuff. But what's that one? So like here, I was, I had, um, this, this is my main character now, but I drew him too tall. This would be him like if he was really older or something. And this, um, I was doing like a little st story comic. And this was the character from that. And I drew him with and without ears. Cause I wasn't sure if I wanted him to have ears or not. So originally this guy he's the main character still but um I was going to either this was going to be him this was him when he was younger and then this was going to be him when he was older like if he had cut his hair but I ended up not using him as the main character and he's now the main character of the story um I may still add him in somewhere but I'm not sure where I don't even really know where the story is going yet but um this was him in like a potion shop and I was just drawing like little things to see if I can actually draw a full picture of him in the shop and here was like here would be like the thumbnails so and then this would be him with his parents his mom his dad and that was actually supposed to be the dad. So. I don't even really know where the story is going anymore. But I do like drawing. And then this page just faded away. But it was like a little page of thumbnails. And I had an idea for it. But I didn't outline it. Like, And that's another thing with this sketchbook. Like if you don't outline it. Sometimes the pencil. I don't know if it was my pencil or the paper or what. It was fading away. So this was the main character in a bubble. He got caught in a bubble and I tried to color it. Um, I, it looks like I used color pencil and some sparkly watercolors and I don't know, some crazy stuff. And this is just some random pictures. I need to like draw darker because when I go to show you guys, you can't see. And then this was me drawing the drawing my character with an angry face. <laughs> So here is when I was like starting to really change the main character of my story. And I was trying to figure out if I wanted him to have a tail or not. I'm still not sure on the tail actually. And then I wanted to see what he looked like with mushroom ears. And this pose is kind of weird looking. But I was trying to, you know, just draw him in different settings and things like that. So here I was kind of just coloring his outfit and seeing what it, his outfit would look like. And here was a thumbnail of him and the dad walking along this bridge. Usually my, my stuff is a bunch of thumbnails that I don't usually finish. Uh, yeah, so this was Tim. I want to make this into a sticker, this one. It's like him coming out of a picture frame. And I was trying to figure out um, perspective. I actually had a perspective class in high school, but I don't remember anything from it. 
And I think that was it for this book. Yeah, so I have a lot to go in this book, but I'm not sure um, if I'm going to, I don't know, get back into this sketchbook because the paper's really smooth. It's not really any tooth to it, so it's not my favorite, but uh, I feel like I have to use it because I bought it, so we'll see. Now, this one is my main sketchbook, and this is, it's by Arteza. I have a second one because I like it so much. But it's heavyweight paper. You get 100 pages and it's 110 pounds. Um, it says it's ideal for dry media, but I'm sure you can use a little bit of water if you're careful. Okay, so this one, um, I had made some stickers of my main character. This was him at a festival. And I did it on like matte paper. And for a while the, the ink was rubbing off, but I think it's okay now. Uh, so I made a bunch of stickers. And so I just taped them inside. I don't know if it was stickers or just prints. I don't know, but I taped it inside of here. Um, so I was like drawing him at a festival. So I was like drawing different festival things. Like the little booth and the lanterns and this was some thumbnails. This was a thumbnail actually of the sticker and this was like one thumbnail I actually completed. I'm not really good or used to backgrounds yet so you see the background is a little less uh, detailed than this here. So when I made the, the sticker... It was just, I did one of just him by himself. And then I think I did a print of this one once I colored it. I think that's how that went. Yeah, here. And then I kind of faded out the background and did some just, just different things. And then I was doing a, um, a do not bend sticker for when I send out my stickers and prints. If anybody was interested in buying them, but... Um, I haven't, I printed it out, but I didn't like the way the colors came out, so I'm going to redo it. But, so this is basically what my main character looks like now, and that is his grandpa. And, so this, these were going to be like little um, artist, or they are going to be artist trading cards, but I have to get some to draw on there. And then I have, I was testing post-it not post-its, um, what do you call them? Postcards for the noodle shop that's in his town. And then I also was testing, I'm going to do some stamp stickers. And this also will be a sticker. But I haven't um, put it on my iPad and, you know, done all that part yet. So, this guy owns the ramen shop. He's so cute. And then this one here, I was playing with watercolors. Uh, I didn't finish, but I was playing with um, them sitting in a cave. And I was just trying to see the different like lights and darks areas and things like that. And they're in a cave and they're just waiting for the rain to stop. And this is my main character when he gets older, or it could be his dad. I don't really... I think it's his dad, because I don't think the, my main character has eyebrows. So that could be the dad and his cousins. And then this is him sleeping under a tree. And I'm, and I'm actually still working on this one. Him sleeping under the tree. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to add the... A little animal but I think I will I'm not sure yet it's just a lot of thumbnails of things that I want to make into either prints or just you know bigger bigger you know things and I drew this little swamp creature and I think I used either watercolors or my intents there might have been watercolors and then this page I was just trying out different creatures and different outfits for him this page um i mean this page this thumbnail is just him sitting outside with his feet in the the pond with the fishes 
And this one is of him standing on a cliff. And just some random little doodles and him sleeping under, under the tree. And some random ice creature that I colored with ink tints. And some lizard thing. Just random creatures. I was trying to, like, fill in the world, you know, with creatures and things like that. And this was, I wanted to do um, a picture of him in, a like, an armor shop or a weapon shop. So I was just trying to draw different shields and things like that. And this was, like, the different parts of the shop that I was doing. So this was, like, the entrance. And this was, like, him walking by the suits of armor. And this was, like, the basement where he finds his staff. And that's, of all the things in the shop he bought, he wanted the old staff in a box. <laughs> so that's where the staff came from. Little fun fact. And that is the shop owner. And that's him in the shop looking at different things. And that's him finding his staff. And that's him walking with his grandpa. It says dad, but that's his grandpa because the grandpa has a little chip in his ear. Um, but his, his grandpa, he makes potions and things like that. And they deliver them to the shop to sell. That was him standing on a roof. I don't know. <laughs> Just, um just trying to develop the story so that's him with his little creature friend and this was him when he was just a tad bit older so i have him drawn in like different stages of his age and this was going to be some kind of princess or queen from some town somewhere i'm not sure where and this is when this little guy came into play. I'm not sure if I want this to be like um, the brother or, you know, adopted brother. I'm not sure, but he's definitely going to play a part. They're going to be traveling together. Um, and he's really tiny. He's really short. It's like he never grew. Um, I'm not sure why yet. But I don't know if you can see this one. He's just sitting there. And over on the side, I had got this um this art book. And it was like this weird little thing walking in the woods. And I wanted to try drawing it. I think I changed it a little bit, though. I don't think it was exactly like this. I think I changed it a little bit. It was this weird thing walking in like this dark woods or something. Um, That was some kind of town or island I wanted them to come across. And this was my main character as he got older. You see his friend never got any bigger. And moving on. This is like the extent though. Like I don't really draw anything any bigger than this. But I have the thumbnails because I do want to draw them. Like I have big canvases and one day I just need to kind of do it, you know. Um, maybe I'll do some like sketch with me's in here so you guys can uh, draw with me or watch me draw. This is him when he's smaller. And this is him on a hot air balloon going somewhere. So I do enjoy drawing him, uh, you know, in different settings and things like that. And I kind of want to make like pdfs for you guys to color so i like made notes on the ones that you know i want to detail and have you guys color this was him this is so cute i love this one it's him looking at a map and he didn't know where he was going and this one was for a pokemon contest uh you had to draw the Pokemon like enjoying life or something. I forgot what the theme of it was. You have to draw them doing something or in nature or something like that. So I chose my two favorites. I did Bulbasaur. I didn't win, of course, but it was fun to enter. Um, there were some crazy like good things. So this is like um, him walking with his grandpa to the, the shop and. This was him eating a bowl of noodles in Sin Nudes Ramen Shop. So 
Sometimes I draw him with hair. Sometimes I don't. This was my other um, my other one that I drew. is Pikachu building the Twin Towers. Just a little um, remembrance. So that one I entered also for the contest. Um, moving on. This, this page was pretty fun to do. I'm not sure what's happening here, but he's confused by it. <laughs> and his friend thinks it's funny. Hang on a sec. <coughs> Excuse me, let me get some juice. Okay. <clears throat> and here he caught a giant fish. So as you can see, he's very happy about that. And here he is building a snow person with his grandpa. And they have like the basket and the old clothes and they're going to dress it up. And here he is with his family. You have the mom and the dad and the grandpa and him. He's just hanging out back there. Look at that smile. Also want to make this one a PDS. Pro probably for Christmas for you guys. In case anybody's interested in coloring my guys. And this is them here. He's playing with a stick and he's like really good at like learning and he likes to read and, you know, research different things. And this is them running for their lives. He's exploring the cave with them and he's telling him like, you know, it's time to go. And you got this big monster behind them. I also want to make a bigger version of that one because I think that one's really cute. And here he is sleeping under the tree with some little creatures and here he is floating down the river just basically um here's some girl he met and she's giving him a hug and he doesn't know what to do so basically just you know thumbnails i i draw him doing you know everyday things basically um here were some thumbnails of something that was supposed to be going on but i'm not really sure what and i made some notes of things that i want to draw here here he is attempting to do something with a test tube and he doesn't know what he's doing so it's getting everywhere and here I was trying to draw running um, I think I kind of nailed it but something seems off I'm not sure what it is sometimes it works sometimes it don't and that is the end of this in the back I just have um, the supplies I use if they work if they don't Things like that. And some more swatches in the back here. I think that's it. That all I have back here are swatches. Probably random. Oh, and then I have like extra little... I don't know what that is. Um, extra little blank pieces of paper for things. But basically just some swatches of watercolors that I keep in here. In a random calendar for June because that's my birthday month so I wanted to keep it in here and that is it for my sketchbook so you guys let me know down in the comments if you're interested in come on back Lucario just in case something weird happens let me know down in the comments if you guys are interested in um me drawing on camera with you guys or if you want you know pdfs or anything like that let me know what you thought of my sketchbooks i'd love to hear what you guys think and i appreciate you guys for stopping by watching my videos as always and i will see you guys in the next video have a good day